what's up? It's Alicia Chappie. I don't know. I don't really call myself Alicia Chappie, but it's a good branding name, I hope. <laughs> hey, welcome back everybody. Uh, so today I'm thinking I'm gonna go do a budget grocery haul. It'll be about seven meals. I'm gonna be doing, um, I did a uh, veggie haul or I don't know, I guess just like in a regular grocery haul, but this one I'm gonna do a little bit more like budget friendly, just things that are easy, simple to make and that you um, can buy pretty inexpensively. The list is not long at all. There's no complicated ingredients. There's no like you need to go to a Whole Foods or a Sprouts or whatever fancy grocery store you go to like Safeway. The only store I'll be going to is Costco just because they have my favorite, period, my favorite stir fry vegetables. So I'm gonna go there just for the frozen bag, but everything else you can get wherever. I'm just gonna go to Safeway because it's the closest to my house. The meals I have made for this week, I have them written down so I don't stutter. Okay, so I'm either gonna do broccoli with rice and cheese or potato, just because I have something else playing with rice and potatoes are a little bit more satiating and um, healthier because I don't particularly love brown rice. I do white rice and brown rice is where it's at. This week I'm gonna try mixing them together just do a little half-half action. Uh, so that's gonna be probably about three or four meals-ish. And then um, for breakfast, it's just kind of been my thing to do cabbage and mushrooms. So yeah, with a little bit of potato and cheese sauce. And then my other meal is going to be stir fry. So that is the one I'm gonna mix the white rice and brown rice together and um, just veggies. So super simple, easy, basic meals, nothing complicated. People are like, how do you eat the same stuff? Eh. Look, when I ate my crazy high fat diet, all the unhealthy stuff, I eat the same stuff every day. Like we just do. I know it's kind of hard to switch those gears. Um, however, I work a ton and the easier the meals, the better for me. So. Let's go. All right, I do not have my ring light out here, so the lighting is not the greatest, but here's it all sprawled out. This is not part of the haul, this is something random I got, so that will not be included in the price. But everything else here is, and we will break it down in just a moment. <laughs> it's my homemade Chipotle bowl without the corn salsa. So I'm out of it because I'm going to my next meals. You know what I mean? Got back from the haul. Oh, what makes things a haul? I need clarification. I feel like I did like a normal grocery run. So is that a haul? I don't know, somebody let me know. For most of the time, I always remember to bring my bags. Definitely should bring your own. Fun story, when I was in Safeway, I had this gentleman ask, I was like looking at the rice area and had my phone out. And this guy walked by and I started walking out of the aisle going more towards the Asian aisle. And he goes, do you have any questions? No, no, I'm good, I'm good, okay. So going on the Asian aisle uh, real quick just to see if I wanted one of the items and I didn't. So I headed back over to go get fruit and I was filming my peaches and the raspberries, which you've seen in this video. And the guy, it's also in the beer section. The same guy goes, you don't work for our competitors, do you? <laughs> like, first of all, I didn't know it was a thing. 
but I guess back in like the 70s or 80s, people used to go shop at one store and then shop at theirs and show, much cheap, show how much cheaper it is. I don't know. Obviously we have price check these days, so I don't know like in what I'd be doing, but yeah, and I just told him that I'm just doing this. So he thought it was really cool, but I just thought it was funny that he thought I was with a competitor. This is the list from Safeway, not the cheapest store. So if you wanna go even cheaper, you can. However, it's the closest to my house. And for what I buy, I don't really buy expensive items, hence the point of this. The total was $44.61. I realize it's backwards because of the camera, but everybody can see that. The three most expensive items. Both the alfalfa and broccoli sprouts, they're each $3.99. And then the seedless watermelon, $6.99. Everything else is $5 or under. See what I'm saying? Uh, it'll make me about seven to eight meals. When I did the math for smoothies, it'd be about $4, but the watermelon's also for a little bit of a snack too. So let's put that on a $3.50 per smoothie that I'll make about four smoothies with a little bit left over, but the watermelon will be gone. And for meals, it's $3.50 a meal. Tell me that's not affordable. Tell me that's not cheap. Is it the most creative, fun, Instagram worthy meal stuff? Nope. Is it practical, cheap, easy to make if you have a busy life and work? Yep. So you gotta pick and choose your balances. Obviously sometimes I get creative with meals and I do crazy stuff. However, that is not every single day, every single meal. Maybe when I can do this for a living, I can do more of that, but that's not what I do right now. So. Just wanna show you all that this is definitely affordable. It's easy, it's simple, taking it back to the basics and that everybody can do this. And even people with families and so forth. I've also always stated that you can get this even cheaper by doing frozen vegetables, but you can make it even cheaper. So do not think that this is even the cheapest it can go. And then if you want to do stuff with beans or any of that stuff in it, cans are what, 99 cents, $1.29, but you can get bulk beans and get it even cheaper. Uh, the vegan stuff that I think everybody is like, oh my God, it's so expensive, vegan meats. It's all the vegan processed stuff. It's all the stuff that emulates regular, you know, standard American diet stuff. That stuff is expensive. It does get spendy. Fresh fruits and vegetables and starches not so much so i just wanted to come on here i wanted to show everybody that you can definitely do this on a budget you can definitely also spend a lot a lot more but it is doable for every single person and that is important for me to show everybody because i get asked that question a lot so thank you for tuning in i really appreciate you guys joining me on this journey um make sure you like comment subscribe tell me anything you want to see um, I'm still not very good on fresh new ideas for videos, so let me know if you'd like to see something. That would be really, really, really appreciated. Uh, go show me some love on the gram. Uh, trying to get more fluent in Twitter. Not quite there yet, but thank you everybody for watching. I uh, appreciate it. Random side note, I forgot to add. Somebody called me when I went, to co when I went into Costco, so I couldn't film that but I did get my bag of frozen stir fry veggies. It is $8.74, so add that to the total of the $44. $8.74. They just have the best variety of stir fry vegetables in that bag, that's why I go there. There is other stir fry veggies available at other stores. So, $44 plus $8.74, that's the total. Forgot to put that in there, but yeah. Have you ever went into Costco and only bought two items? Let me know. <laughs> Messing around and just saying random words is the only way I've learned how to fix my audio. Super professional, I know. Um, but when I just talk, like my phone automatically adjusts. So for the first 10 seconds, I just talk to myself. <laughs> like a crazy. Don't quit my day job. <laughs>